Cup Match is a two-day cricket event which celebrates emancipation in Bermuda, and today it is Bermuda's favorite holiday. Cup Match is just the best holiday. The main reason for Cup Match is, is the emancipation, you know, August 1st, 1834. And I take that to heart. So, like, we're really celebrating that. And it's just an opportunity for us to appreciate Bermuda, appreciate the sport, and that's a time when we all come together as one. Well. The main thing you need to know about Cup Match, it is a rivalry. You're either East or West. Somerset or St. George's? I'm for St. George's! Somerset. Blue and blue, through and through. Somerset! <laughs> <laughs> if you're for St. George's, your colors are blue and blue. If you're for Somerset, your colors are red and blue. And that will let you know who you want to hang around at the game. So make sure you get your colors right. Somerset! Now, if you're a visitor and you're at the game, the first thing you want to do is find out who's a local. Make friends with a local because that local will invite you into their camp. Once you're in the camp, you got free food, free swizzle, free food. Did I mention free swizzle? You want the swizzle. Everybody's responsible to bring something to the game, so I was like, you're logging everything in. What we have to have is... A cooler full of ice. A cooler full of ice, cooler full of drinks, music. We carry 15 gallons of Swizzle to Cup Match. I officially started doing my stand in 78. We've had a camp for eight years. We've actually had a camp for just over 40 years. And we were one of the first to actually have a camp that was a double-decker. Back in the day when I played at these um, stands, just like a stadium set up, and you didn't have no cover, you had your umbrella and stuff like that there to keep the sun off you. When camps first started at the game, everybody was on one level. Now because of its popularity, it has now risen to three levels. Within the three levels of the scaffolding, everybody has their own individual cube. Each camp has a different name which represents the people that organize that particular camp. Now some camps are party camps, some camps are family camps. You will know right away which camp is the party camp that you can go into because you cannot go into auntie's camp. If you didn't bring no potato salad, don't think you can go in that camp. My family has a cop mad camp called All in the Family. North Village Community Club Camp, camp Cartel. Our camp is called Darsh Trappin. The name speaks for itself. We have a rivalry in our camp, whereas we got Somerset people and we got St. George's people. You know, it's just clean fun, arguing amongst ourselves during the game. Well, my camp is a bit more conservative than my son's camp. In fact, to be quite honest, I don't really like to be close to my son's camp. When you do come to cup match, for a lot of people, um, Camp Cartel is definitely one of the spots that, that they love to pop in. We just love to invite people to come in. We have macaroni and cheese, fish cakes. And we got some mussels, some kung stew, fish is always on deck. The farine pie, the chicken, potato salad, piece of rice. Just like you was at home and the dish was there. Everyone comes out and you get to see people that you haven't seen for like a whole year and you only really see them around Cup Match. But you can tell the camps that have a DJ, music, you know, a, a bar that's actually set up. And most times those camps are open for people to come in and just and partake. And you know, we're, we're very open with that. Like, yeah, come in, <laughs> come have a drink. The one thing you must do before you leave is stop by the Crown and Anchor Tent. Now in Bermuda, gambling is illegal, but these two days, these two days, you can gamble for this specific game. As an island, I feel that Cup Match brings everyone together. And there's something for everyone to enjoy, no matter how old you are. Just spend some valuable time with each other. If you happen to come up there, and I actually implore most people to do so, especially if you're a tourist, come have a drink with us. Come say hi. 